Hi, this is a visual basic tutorial for magic number. It was a request actually. So let me just if I click on this very button there, that's what you see. So it's called a magic number because if you add up the first row there is equals to 34. If you even add it up diagonally, it's going to be 34 as well. If you go vertically, it's 34. Horizontally, it's all 34. That is why it's called a magic number. I actually received an email from someone who would like me to develop it. And let me just show you guys the email. You have a look. Then I will go into Visual Basic and, basic and get it sorted. And that is the email right there. I've actually covered some part of the email. Okay. And this is how this very person would like the table to be. So we go into Visual Basic now. Okay, we're gonna start a new start a new project. Windows Forms application. I'm just gonna call it magic number. There. Click on OK. And the form size. Let's just make that approximately. Yeah. 1366 by 700 okay let's see if we let's change it or maybe just leave the, the font color the way it is and the font size let me change that to something really good for you guys okay let's make that maybe 24 yeah that's okay now double click on the form and declare the following call it in magic so let's make that three by three that's my radio as integer okay there okay I will also declare a graphic let me just declare G let's go for G as graphic there it's fine all right now within my form load i would like the following let's go for this very array i'm just gonna copy that paste it right there and the very first part of it will be zero 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 in this case will be equals to 16. I'm just going to copy that across. Let's copy. And the next one here will be 0, 1. That stands for the, the column and the row. 0, 2, and 0, 3. So let's change this to 5. That's 5 according to the according to the ladies table and that will be nine and four so the next thing I will do is let's get uh, let me get a, a button on board I need a button and I also need a text box because according to the email she will also like me to display the total right in here so I can always make up my total here double click on that and just enter text box text box one dot text equals all of the information in here so I can copy this equals that plus that plus and one more there so I will change the numbers here that is three and two and I also have one here if I run my program right now so I've been able to arrive at 34 okay that's one part of it but there's more to, to do the next thing is I will now declare some I will now use a, a for loop for x equals let's say zero 
two, three. Alright. It's gonna be a nested loop though. Four y equals zero to three as well. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do now is to actually output my to draw my right angle rectangle there so g dot draw draw rectangle okay I need a pen let's go for my pen what color should I choose maybe black or orange ah let's see let's just pick on that and dot new new rectangle okay where is it new rectangle right there the new rectangle now let's enter the following coordinates so x multiply by I might as well make it approximately 64 and y will be 64 as well and I now need the the column and the row the size of the column and the row and that is that taken care of now let's get the graphic to draw out the string okay draw the following string and um, what am I drawing out that will be the the variable in magic which stands for supposed to be magic number anyway and there so the next thing is I need a font me dot font let's go for that the font and uh, the brush um, the brush in this case I don't know I'll just set you for any of these colors right here maybe this or maybe this I don't know how it looks like when I finish up I'll find out okay now comma a new point let's go for new position and there will be point equals x multiplied by 64 comma y multiplied by 64 and that is all I think so hopefully it should work as expected so let's see what's going to happen with this so if I run this program now and click on this there we have an error so let's find out what happened okay I think uh, the problem must be I was meant to enter call my graphic there g equals mean dot let's create a graphic create graphic right there okay I was meant to call that method so okay in that case I will also have to get it clear g dot clear color dot from color from I'll be name from name and in this case the name is that of the control itself there so hopefully that is taken care of I think I need to close that again yeah that's I think that's taken care of now so let's give this a try and see what will happen so if I run it that is what I get right there but uh, that's how it looks it's looking right now and I don't need the other I need the other numbers there okay so if let me just run it again you see what I mean you see these numbers here if you add all of these together 16 plus this that's 21 plus this that's 30 and that will give you 34 so the whole idea is to get 34 diagonally horizontally and so on so let's work out the others so I'm just going to copy this and right here paste paste I need a couple more now the next row will be this will be 3 I'll be 10 6 and 15 followed by 2 11 2 
11, 7, and 14. And then I'll go for 13, 8, 12, and 1. So hopefully that should do it. Okay, now that uh, all of the numbers are in place, the next thing is to change this to 1, 1, 1. That will be 2, 2 here, 2, 2. And this one will be 3. an error here that's a control okay. now hopefully that should do it let me just uh, show you guys the code you can have a look at the variable that, that I declared up here and the form will load the following and also the two dimension array and then when I click on the button, this will happen. So let's run it and see what will happen. If I run it, whoa. Well, it's correct, but you guys cannot see it properly, so I might as well just change the color. Let's change the color to black. Let's get rid of that and just change the color to black. Let's run it and see. Okay, that's for the that's for the table, and let's change this to black as well. There. So if I run it again, there, and that is how you generate your own magic number. If you guys calculate this together, you will see that it's 34, 34, and 34, 34. And if you calculate this one in the middle, it's also 34. This is 21 plus 13. Okay. We make it tidy it a little bit more. Okay, just to finish up this project, I'm now going to enter maybe a label here. Let's just enter a label here and uh, this very label give it a name. The magic magic number there and we give this a name as well let's see maybe numbers number that's fine okay so the font I've changed the font to 48 and that might cause a bit of problem let's run it and see there you see exactly what I'm talking about this problem there so let's change the size of the of each cell okay let's come here and just change that to delete this I don't need that anymore delete that just change this to 128 128 copy and one two eight as well one two eight there so if I run it now click on that and that is what you guys will see magic number so let's move this up a little bit to make it look a bit presentable select it on move that up there run the program again click and that is how you generate your own magic number in visual basics so with that i'll just call it bye for now